haven't read through all the questions so I don't really know what's coming. Hopefully that none of them are freaky or bad or anything like that because I'm not about to come over here and incriminate myself. The saints be watching y'all. A few moments later. What is one thing that you've never revealed to your parents? Hmm. Yo, what's good guys? It's your girl Ariel. I'm not even gonna acknowledge the fact that I've been gone for over a month. I have no excuse, so we're just gonna get right into this video. At this point in our relationship, I think it's time for y'all to get to know me a little better. But anyway, before we get into this, make sure you like this video and you subscribe down below and follow me on Instagram. So let's just do this. Actually, wait, hold up. I, I need a snack. Ugh. My favorite snack, cucumbers. Mm. That's pretty good. Question number one. What is your full name? Ariel Charissa Fitzpatrick. What's your name? What does your name mean? Oh, isn't this? This is unprofessional, isn't it? I shouldn't be eating and talking. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna eat down a bunch and then I'm gonna take a break. The comments are so good. Mm. Jesus of Nazareth. He is good oh. Question number two. What does your name mean? My name means Lion, Lion of God. Shut up! Hey! <laughs> does your name make any interesting anagrams? I don't know what anagram means. If you had to change your first name, what would you change it to? I actually really love my first name, but just to play along, I'd probably just call myself Bob. I think I look like a Bob. Where are you from? The most accurate response, Montreal, Canada. The response that I think you guys really want, I am half Vincentian and half Trinidadian. My dad is from St. Vincent and my mom is from Trinidad. <laughs> Okay, let me stop. <laughs> Who did you look up to growing up? My parents. What are your best characteristics? Not to toot my own horn. I'm really loyal. Maybe a little too loyal. And I think I love too hard. And it's, it's almost unhealthy. That's why I try to distance myself from people. What are your favorite things about yourself? I don't know, I'm not that great. Which of your parents are you more like? I look like my dad, but I act like my mom. What is one thing that you've never revealed to your parents? Hmm. Y'all, I can't answer that. <laughs> I still live in their house. What would your parents have named you if you were the opposite gender? I don't know. Mom? Let me ask. She said I was named after I was born. What do you call your grandparents? Granny and Grandpa. What is your best physical feature? I don't know, y'all tell me. What is your biggest fear? Being in a coma, hearing everything, not being able to move, and nobody knows that you're awake. For years? Name something scarier than that. I've heard stories, guys. I've heard stories. What is your eye color? Brown. What inspires you? God's word. What is the most important thing in your life? God. What has required the most courage of you in your life so far? Losing everything. Who is your favorite musician? I got a few. D1, Aaron Cole, The Walls Group. I know I'm missing some. What is your favorite drink? Apple juice. What is your favorite fairy tale? I'm a G bro, I don't do fairy tales. What is your favorite color? Pink. What is your favorite physical activity? I'm not gonna lie, I'm not that active. I do like a dance class for fun every week, so I think that's the current thing. What is your favorite quote? Are you not entertained? What is your favorite type of clothing? Hoodies, sweatpants, sneakers, all day, every day. What was your favorite subject in high school? Mathematics. Are you high maintenance? Hmm? You know, my brother said I'm not like that at all. Like, I'm really, really chill. Whoever ends up with me, you lucky. I know that sounds mad conceited, but to be honest, I don't ask for much. Are you a good cook? Um, here's the thing. I don't like to cook. But when I do cook, it tastes really good. The only time my food came out disgusting <laughs> was the first time I tried to make lasagna. Look, lasagna is my arch nemesis. I can't make lasagna. And it sucks because I love lasagna. What is good about how you are living your life right now? I have a roof over my head. I have food on the table. I got clothes Lush on my back. Hallelujah. If you could eliminate one weakness or limitation in your life, what would it be? My shyness. Can you do a split? <laughs> They don't call me Sparkle for no reason. Okay, I'm not joking. I used to though when I was a kid. Can you touch your nose with your tongue? I most certainly cannot. That's the phrase my tongue will. Who wants to know anyway? Can you whistle? Can you dance? Um, I'm not a great dancer, but I could do a little one-two shuffle. You know what I'm saying? Do you prefer kissing or cuddling? You're asking the wrong person. <laughs> I am not a very affectionate person, but um, in all honesty. If I had to choose, I'll choose cuddly. At least you could talk, like, you know, you, you could do something else. Do you have any birthmarks? I have a red birthmark. And it changes color depending on the season. But it's here. 
Do you hold any convictions that you would be willing to die for? Jesus Christ saves baby. Do you believe in love at first sight? I don't think I do. Who sent the last text message you received? It's actually from beauty salon reminding me that I have an appointment really soon to go get a Brazilian. <laughs> Who was the last person you ate dinner with? Wouldn't you like to know? Who is, okay, I'm just joking. Um, the last person I ate dinner with was, I know it's one of my family members. Who was your first boyfriend? Um, there was, I never had one. Who was your first friend in college? Hey Layla. What is your idea of special time together? Where I could just be with you, just be able to talk to you and just, like, just love being in your company. What is your most embarrassing moment? Bro, I have two many embarrassing moments. One of <laughs> One of them, I wouldn't say this is the most embarrassing. I walked out of the bathroom at McDonald's and you know how like we take like layers and layers of toilet paper and we just put it on the toilet. You don't sit on no toilet paper unless you got at least three layers. I sit down on the toilet, do my business, and then I get up, pull up my pants, and I put in the toilet paper, flush, wash my hands, walk out. And the funny, <laughs> I think the most embarrassing thing about this story to me is that that day I thought I looked really, really cute. I think I was like 13 and I'm walking out the bathroom and you know some people are like looking and stuff you know so I'm like they looking cuz I look cute whatever I get to my mother <laughs> and she's like what's wrong with you and I was like what she's like it's toilet paper coming out your pants <laughs> and let me let me let me tell you the bathroom was far from where I was sitting so bear in mind I was walking for a hot minute with this toilet paper coming out of my pants, long toilet paper. It was like attached to my pants, like back here, and it was coming out and it was so long it was like touching the floor. So I basically walking out with a toilet paper tail. And I never thought this would have happened to me. And I was like, what? And then my mom, being the Trini that she is, starts dying of laughter and she's like, what? Like make the whole deal of it. And I'm like, mom, this is embarrassing. But yeah, that's one of the most embarrassing moments of my life. What is your most used word? I think I say yo all the time. In a sentence, you always say okay, cool. You write. Or you say cool or nothing. Oh yeah, I just say cool. What is your star sign? The devil is a liar. I don't do that stuff, y'all. No, I'm on the lower <laughs> What is an ideal first date for you? Hmm. I'm a kid at heart, okay? I love having fun. Fun is like going out to do something like crazy. If you were to be like, yo, let's go skydiving, I would be like, yo, I'm game, let's go. And then right after, of course, we go and we eat. What is something you look for in a partner? Oh, this is getting all deep and stuff. God-fearing, loyal, good-looking. I'm trying not to be vain. And funny, like you have to be funny. And if you're not funny, at least be fun. How far away from your birthplace do you live now? Way too close. How many boyfriends have you had? There was Brenda, Letitia, Linda, Felicia. None. Why are you counting? I'll turn around. Nina's <laughs> <was> like, what? <laughs> Why are you counting? <laughs> How many relationships have you been in? Zero. Nothing. None. Zilch. Nada. Nothing. How old do you think you'll be when you get married? Psh, well, at the rate we're going right now, <laughs> I don't know, man. How old are you when you found out that Santa wasn't real? Let me tell you something about Caribbean fans. <laughs> let me tell you something real quick. They never let you believe for a second that Santa is real. At what age did you go on your first date? Um, how old was I? But honestly, I don't even know how to consider that a date. We knew we were going out, but it was, but we didn't say that it was a date. What were you guys doing? They went we went to a movie. And then we went to eat. So my thing is, I don't know if it's officially a date if the guy doesn't say, I want to take you out on a date. But the day was a date. Yeah, it's between the ages of 17 and 19, so I'm pretty sure I was 18. Yes. Not, you don't know him, but you see him. Yeah. You remember him? Oh, yes. Move that cut of Anyway, where were you on Valentine's Day? Home, celebrating my little brother's birthday. Yeah. What is the last movie that you saw at the cinema? Oh my gosh, The Joker. What position do you sleep in? What would you name your son if you had one? I would love to name one of my sons Ezekiel. Whoa, new outfit, because it's a new day. My phone died, had to leave, got back home too late. Long story short, we out here. What is something you've never done that you'd like to try? 
<laughs> skydiving. I really want to go skydiving. I would also like to perform at a really big festival. What is the pettiest thing you've done to prove a point? <laughs> One time my science class went out to a field trip. We went out to this random restaurant that we found. The waitress was she was a toad. She was just so annoying and obnoxious and just mean. Like everyone was just like so annoying and they're like, yo, we're not gonna leave her a tip. But then I was like, wait a second, leaving her no tip? That's not good enough. We gonna be real petty today. I waited for her to come back by the table. I went in my little coin purse. Y'all remember when pennies used to still exist? I took out one penny and I put it on the table. I said, that's your tip. I didn't say it, but I put it in a way that my expression said it. And I walked out there and everyone was just like, oh my gosh, I you're so messed up for that. And I was like, I know. Describe yourself in a single sentence. Y'all who know me from YouTube probably can't relate to this because I ain't ever quiet on YouTube. I may seem quiet, and I may seem like I don't like you, but the truth is, I'm crazy, loud, and very loving. That was a really long sentence. Which animals scare you the most? Chimpanzees and apes. I'd rather be in the same room as a lion, facing a lion dead on, than being 10 feet away from, not a chimp, what's the other one? A gorilla. Gorillas, sorry, not Jeez. chimpanzees, gorillas. I don't I don't mess with I don't mess with monkeys, man. What are some of your bad habits? Rubbing my eyes. What are the top three qualities that draw you to someone new? Respectful, kind, and funny. What do you call it when rain falls while the sun is shining? It's raining and the sun is shining. What do you do for a living? I have like a few side hustles that I do. I just do anything, like any skill that I have, I try to make money off of it. I do YouTube, I tutor math, I sell wigs, I do affiliate marketing. I know I'm forgetting something because I just do whatever I can do, really. Do you know how to pump your own gas? Yo, it's just difficult. Like, you know how many times I've been embarrassed? Do you love dancing? Yes at home or just around people I feel really like mad comfortable with. There is not a day that that goes by without me dancing. To what extent do you trust people? I don't. What do you do if you can't sleep at night? I play Oceans by Hillsong. Knocks me out every single time. What do you think about the most? Am I living the way I'm supposed to be living? Am I being a good example? Am I being a good daughter? Am I being a good sister? Am I being a good friend? Like, Am I treating strangers nice? Am I being good? I am very, very of that. What messages or myths about sex did you believe growing up? You know like how they just like paint this this real cool picture like oh my gosh like no matter what it's gonna be amazing. Then I get older and I hear and then I start hearing horror stories. Like I hear people's stories and I'm like that that's not what that's that's not what I I was told when I was younger. If you could give your younger self any advice what would it be? Stop being scared and just do it. What's your nickname? My most common nickname is Ari. One of my friends call me Re. I've gotten Re Re. Two people in my life call me Fitz. I've had a few people who call me Fitzpatrick. When was the last time you got in a fist fight? I've never been in a fight and I plan on keeping it that way. You can do that by yourself. You can fight the air because I will not be there. Bars. Pick one, chatting or phone call? Chatting. I like talking to people. Good people. Pick one, cheat or be cheated on. I will never be the cheater. iOS or Android? Team iPhone all day or day. Summer or winter? Summer, baby. Would you rather have six sons or six daughters? Mmm, that's not fair. I really wish I could choose, but I can't. Would you rather your parents were able to read your thoughts or your crush was able to read your thoughts? My crush. Because the thing about it, a crush you could dispose of. Your parents? Not so much. How many children do you want to have? I want like 10 kids, y'all. Let's just say as many as I can handle. I want like so many children. How tall are you? I generally tell people I'm 5'7", but to be honest, I'm like exactly 5'6 and a half. And finally, what's your longest relationship so far? Um, my longest relationship so far has been with single women. Alright y'all, so that is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you even just stopping by and clicking this and even caring to get to know me. So if you are still here, make sure you drop the T-Rex emoji. So yeah, make sure you like up this video, you comment down below, and you share it. Let your people know we out here. Tell them to come and subscribe. Until next time, I'm gonna catch y'all when we hit a milli. Be breezy. You need to save your money. It's $3.99 Canadian, which means it's probably $2.99 in the States. Let me show you some magic. But don't tell nobody. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like what?
from the drugstore. It's almost holographic. Your essence. Essence. <laughs> I'm going to bed.